Hello Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and of course Cross Watchers. Welcome to your June 2021 reading. I hope you're all doing well. Before we get started, I want to quickly remind you that if this reading does resonate with you, I am doing extended readings again for videos where I sense that additional guidance may be insightful. So if there is an extended reading for this video, you'll be able to find the link to that in the description box below, as well as what specifically is included in that extended reading. I also want to remind you that all readings are general readings, so not all of the messages may resonate. If they do, then that's wonderful. However, if they don't, please simply take what does resonate and leave the rest. Also, be sure to check out the readings for your other signs or the signs of the person on your mind as they may provide additional insight and guidance. Lastly, I want to remind you that because I am simply reading energies, I could be talking about you or your person, so please feel free to swap the roles. So first, we'll draw a few oracle cards to grab the overall theme and energy for the month, then we'll use tarot to dive in and see what is really going on. Everything else you need to know about this reading and the extended reading can be found in the description box below, so let's finally get started here. All right, Scorpios, so we have Solitude, which is equivalent to the Hermit in the typical Rider weight deck. That's Virgo energy. You may be dealing with a Virgo, or uh, there could be some placements in your person's chart or your chart, but that's not necessary. Uh, we also have You're Very Close to Achieving Your Goal narcissistic and this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek i just want to mention very quickly i do want to you know get the entire spread out here but i just don't want anyone to be too alarmed by this narcissistic card it doesn't always mean that you are dealing with a narcissist however this is the energy of someone who may not have always been looking out for you could have been a bit selfish whether that's just about you know opening up or uh, how they plan their day but there's definitely this energy of someone that has just been really self-involved here so let's get out the the spread and then i'll go over what i see Everything has been pre-shuffled. Three of Pentacles. The Lovers in the Reverse. Gemini Energy. Six of Wands in the Reverse. The Hermit, once again. Virgo Energy. Page of Wands in the Reverse. and death in the reverse, Scorpio energy. So let me just fix this very quickly. All right, Scorpios, let's check out what I'm really feeling here. So I'm sensing that there may have been some time apart between you and your person, at least communication wise. For some of you right now, there may not be any sort of communication, and this could be something that could happen throughout June. But for many of you, I'm sensing that there is at least a little bit of communication here with the Three of Pentacles. The degree to how much you're speaking with this person is going to differ from person to person since this is a general reading. But there is this energy of collaboration and working together. But with the lovers in the reverse here, there is still a sense of disharmony that really needs to be worked through. There is definitely some sort of disconnect here that requires some healing. With the page of wands represent, sorry, the page of wands in the reverse up here representing you, you may know how you want to move forward with this person, but you are not taking action here. It could be because your person is being a little bit distant or it could be because there is this time out that's happening. But either way, your person represented by the hermit, they are looking within here. So throughout the month of June, there is this collaboration and working together, but it's slow and there are some delays here with this energy. In the past, with the Six of Wands in the reverse, 
something didn't feel victorious and I'm sensing it had to do with some pride and ego issues. Maybe someone pulled away here. Someone was coming towards you, pursuing you, and then they pulled away. There could have been some mind games here as well. I'm definitely feeling some, there, there could even be some fears here too. But I think that there are some realizations here about this connection because despite the hardships, this is a, a meaningful connection. But I think but I think that there are some realizations here about this connection because despite the hardships, this connection is very meaningful and this could be the person that you really want to be with here. And you may be what your person wants too, but I'm feeling this energy of hesitancy on your person's part because they know that they would need to make some big personal inner changes, and I mean big ones, in order to really seal the deal with you with this uh, death in the reverse over here. And I think that that is why they are looking within. I think this is why they are, you know, in hermit mode. They're really trying to figure out what they want here, but you are very close to achieving your goal, or that maybe this could be, you know, for them, figuring out what it is that they want. So that's what I'm getting so far. Let's clarify and get deeper into this. Let's check out the current situation. We do have the um, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, the Devil, and Two of Swords in the reverse. So, before we even get deeper into this, I do want to pull a couple Oracle cards here. Tribe, okay. So this could be a friendship here. Fresh start. Dark night of the soul. So this is lining up with what I've been feeling here, let's actually pull one more because I feel like we could get more information. Seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So this could be a third party for some of you. I don't see any other cards indicating a third party, and usually there are several if it is, you know, a third party for certain, but because this is a general reading, for some of you, there may have been a third party situation here. What I'm feeling for many of you, though, is that, you know, there's attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up and tribe this could feel like a friends with benefits type thing especially since we have the devil here i'm feeling some sexual energy but there was a dark night of the soul here there's a fresh start but there are two people here that i'm feeling like Two people don't really know where this is going. Someone really wanted a, a fresh start here with someone. You could be dealing with an air sign, but you don't need to. But I feel like someone here is also seeing things for how they are. 
if you are dealing with someone that is just coming in sexually for you with no real emotion, you might be feeling like that's all that they want. You need to be careful here with this person. If they're coming in, if something happened in the past here, because I read the cards, I tell you how it is. And remember, take what resonates, leave the rest, use your discernment. If you find yourself dealing with a situation like this throughout June, you can keep this storyline in the back of your head because I'm, I'm obviously going to give you guidance, but I, I can't tell you that this is for sure your situation. You must use your intuition. But I have a feeling like if you were dealing with a friends with benefits situation and it didn't work out, and there was an ending here that really, really hurt you, or someone here that didn't want commitment, they just wanted to be friends, it's like this person may be coming in again because they want to be your friend. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just reading the cards. I need to be honest. And this isn't this isn't funny. I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing. It's not even really a laugh. It's just like this reaction that this is the way that the dating is in modern day. It's very, very difficult for those who want a genuine connection. Okay, I'm getting chills. Like it's very, very difficult being out there and becoming vulnerable and opening up to someone only for someone to really act in careless ways with our heart or I just got this image of like, you know, a, a bull in a china shop just kind of acting selfishly with no real intention and then it ends up in a, you know, in a disaster. But this person may be coming back in to have a, fr a fresh start with you. And you need to be careful as well because this person, you may not know about this, they could be involved with someone else. But they may come in, you know, sexually. But I think with the two of swords in the reverse, I think you're seeing through this. But there is this energy of friendship, but it's going to be up to you whether or not you, you know, you give into this energy. Because with the block here, the lovers in the reverse, there is still disharmony here, you know, but it's, you're still communicating at least a little bit with this person or so it seems. But, you know, this person's coming in, it could be an earth sign, a water sign, or an air sign, it doesn't need to be, it could be any of those. It could also be a fire sign. But they're not going to come in with emotion. I think they're going to be holding back and just giving off this vibe of like stability and that things are okay, but not really showing much emotion here. And that's something that you need to look out for, is what I'm feeling. family maybe you have a family with this person it, that it, it's not necessary though forgiveness victim this person feels like you are family or the block could also be that they are dealing with a family if this person was married or has other obligations because of you know children or something like that but what i'm feeling here it might feel like it's very difficult to forgive this person and it's because there's a lack of an emotional connection here i don't i'm not quite sure this person is coming in and apologizing they might but I, it might not be enough because you might be realizing with this two of swords in the reverse that this person is coming in with like this victim mentality like they're not coming towards you and they're just like 
I'm sorry for what I did. I take accountability. I see where my actions went wrong. It's kind of like they're trying to justify it in some way because they have this victim mentality of like, I'm sorry. I like they, they might say that they're sorry, but it's kind of like, well, saying things along the lines of I've been through a lot and I just don't know what to do or just not really taking accountability, you know, just like trying to get you to feel bad for them. And maybe for some of them, they're blaming it on their family issues too, like, or something that would indirectly point to that kind of like saying that they've had a tough time growing up or they don't know why they are the way that they are or, you know, things like that. But they're not fully taking accountability and I think that this is what could be bothering you here. I'm feeling that that is what's really causing this disconnect because you might be realizing like, hey, this person, you know, sure, they said sorry, but it's not really coming from a place where it shows that this person can really transform and be the person that I need them to be, even though they're coming in and they want this fresh start with you because they did go through this dark night of the soul and it could have been because they messed up in the past, maybe because of a third party. And now they, they want you back because in the past, so many cards popped out here, but it's almost like this person may have tried to come back around in the past, but things were too shaky at the time. There were a lot of delays with moving forward here. I feel like there was a lack, lack of a plan. Um, and I'm feeling like this very chaotic energy as well. Or this person, maybe they did reach out to you, but you just, you weren't fighting for it or they were not fighting for it. And someone just wasn't really reaching back out to the other person. There were a lot of obstacles here. Yeah, there was a pause. Like I said, there was no communication. And then someone's coming back in here. Spring. This could have happened in the spring for you. There may have been a, a pause or maybe one of you has a spring birthday or something just significant happened here in the spring. But something didn't work out here. Communication. Yeah, there was a pause with communication. And this person, like I said, they could have tried to come in. But for some of you, I'm feeling for some of you, there's just a complete pause in communication. And now this person's coming back in or they did try to you know, come in, but you, you know, you were not uh, open to it at the time. And you could be dealing with someone at a distance with the three of wands in the reverse, but that's not necessary. And also with this, this disconnect, you could also be feeling like a victim as well, but kind of more in a way that this person actually did something hurtful to you and you really need to forgive them. For what they did and I feel like that's just kind of difficult for you at this time let's check you out page of wands in the reverse eight of wands the moon all these flew out so I took them because they were upright but so many cards temperance in the reverse king of swords in the reverse three of swords in the reverse so I'm feeling like you are dealing with some anxiety here. And, oh yeah, we have a uh, Pisces energy, Sagittarian energy. You may be feeling like there's something missing here, like a piece of the puzzle that you don't know. And you might not feel ready to reconcile with this person completely because of this block. I'm feeling this, like maybe you're talking to them, but you are okay with leaving it as friends, even though this person is coming in with maybe trying to, to tempt you here.
received yeah or this could be you remember feel free to swap the roles or maybe you're dealing with someone who you know isn't open to reconciling with you received winter so something significant could have happened in the winter for some of you maybe that's when you met Ooh, confirmation yes card um But I'm feeling here that you're feeling a bit stuck here. There is some anxiety. There are some things that you feel like you don't really know here. It's really throwing you off. And you, you might say, I'm not going to lie, some things that come off a bit harsh. Or maybe you did in the past. And for some of you, this person coming in could trigger you a little bit. Especially if they try to kind of tempt you. The answer, yeah, I think you're just like, no. <laughs> Wanting to refocus here. dimension so this is definitely some something karmic is what i'm sensing and there could be some synchronicities going on between you and this person as well definitely some sort of karmic connection you could be dealing with a karmic here the grim Re oh my gosh the grim reaper relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life so I feel like this is an ending here and you still feel like this could, you don't still feel that way, but maybe some of you do, but you really wanted to be with this person and this person wants to be with you currently, which is why they're coming back in. But like I said, this person is acting selfish. They're looking within though and all these popped out. Two of Pentacles, they're trying to make a decision here. Ace of Cups in the reverse, Two of Cups, Seven of Cups in the reverse. And there are some realizations that there's not going to be a fresh start, especially if they continue to come in here to try and make this work. I'm sensing... That a lot of you are very caring and kind and generous. I think you are very generous with this person. And I feel like many of you may be the type of people where you don't want to, you try to not hold much resentment and you don't want to hold grudges, but at the same time, you don't want to be with this person and you don't want to get caught up in any sort of drama and if this person keeps coming towards you it's kind of like this okay whatever we're good but you might just let it go let's pull some oracles it's like they're finally seeing it here yeah observing right but they're they're seeing that and this could be someone that has come in for you several times and it's like they they kind of this is just for some of you it kind of was like a cycle like they may have hurt you a couple times and maybe they took you for granted and now they're coming in you know for the third fourth time and you're just like nope and they're finally seeing through it that this is this is over purge yeah that you are purging them from your life this is an ending that's happening here but i'm more so sensing that this could be left open for some of you Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. 
yeah, this person wants that, but, and I think golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. This person could have love bombed you. I'm feeling a lot of manipulative energy. And I know in the beginning I was like, well, just because we pulled the narcissistic card doesn't mean that, you know, that's what's going on. But this is the first reading in a long time where I'm feeling like this person was very manipulative with you. And now we're getting more cards to, you know, support this. And they know that you'd give them the stability, you know, security growth. But I feel like this person has been taking you for granted. But they see, they're observing that you're, you're good here. And they made a they made a mistake here. For some of you, you may be located and residing somewhere with palm trees. Maybe your person does. That's just for some of you. I don't know why I got that. But I'm feeling self-sabotage from this person too. Like they want all these wonderful things, but they keep sabotaging and they need to I can't believe, you know, I don't I don't mean to be rude or anything like that, but straight up, this person needs to grow up. I don't even think that's rude. That's just the truth but this person was being very one-sided with why they were here and i think that's why they may be coming in to try and tempt you here and maybe you know you're very close to achieving your goal maybe you were feeling very in the dark about this connection for a while and not really sure where it was going and you are very close to achieving your goal in a sense that you are either moving forward with this person or moving away from them, okay? And that's what I'm feeling is that you are getting some clarity, like there's a conclusion of some sort. So death in the reverse, page of pentacles, eight of cups, and six of cups. So... I'm picking up two different scenarios here. I want to pull a couple of cards though, just to make sure, because this person really needs to do the inner work. This death in the reverse needs to turn over, needs to be upright. This person is looking at the fact that they would need to change a lot in order to be with you, but... They know that you are cutting them out, and I don't think they're feeling too good about it. Oh, let's use this card, actually. Grief. Admired. Compromise. Passion, insane chemistry, like each other, equally have fun. Healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. I'll pull one last one. I don't know why I'm feeling this. Girl talk. Time with friends. Moving on. Happily single. Living in the moment. Having fun. I am feeling here that for some of you, you might be meeting a new person. But for many of you, I'm sensing that there isn't going to be this, this transformation and this connection. But I don't think you wanted that. I think you just wanted to leave. And I think you're letting this person know that you are moving on to better things. And especially with the Six of Cups, you may be rekindling with someone from your past or someone else that you have history with, or you may be meeting a new person here that really you just have incredible chemistry with. Or maybe when this person comes in, it's like you've already met another person, but this person's coming in to compromise because they admire you. They like you and they do have this chemistry with you. But at the same time, I'm feeling like this person just wants to have fun and have that 
passion with you. Maybe for a small number of you. Now, don't get mad when I say this because if, you know, this message may not be for you, maybe for someone else here. Someone else may want that. Maybe like, okay, well, that's fine. But for many of you, I'm feeling like you're just like, nope, no second chances, done. This is over. But this person wants, they feel bad. I don't, this is very, they need to look deeper. At least we got the hermit. They are looking in to their inability to, you know, offer what it is that you really need here. They know they need to purge some things from their life. They want the stability and they see what they did to you. But at the same time, they're not really willing to make these changes that need to happen. So they want to compromise, but is it would it really be what you need it to be? Well, you would need to use your own discernment in that situation. But this person will miss you if you are parting from them. And maybe for some of you, you will rekindle this connection. But for the most part, I don't think so. Healing from heartbreak, because this was very toxic. Girl talk, you know, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So the way that I really am sensing this is you are just moving on to someone else, doing you while this person is trying to come in and, you know, be in your life. And you're just like, no, and they do feel bad about what they did, but they need a deeper understanding and to actually make those changes. And they're not doing that from what I'm seeing. Once again, use your discernment. And you may feel like you have this passionate connection, but once again, you know, this really needs to uh, be worked through effectively and you would really need to assess if this person was able to do the work. So, and this person, I mean, they could just, if this didn't work out, this person's just going to be going to other people I'm sensing and having passionate connections or trying to attempting to kind of like a rebound type thing but for many of you for many of you you're just cutting this person out and this is it you're just going to to leave them as a memory <laughs> if you even want to call it that so that's what I'm getting in. Like I said, for others of you, you may kind of leave this open-ended, not holding grudges, but just kind of like letting it go because you just, you don't, you're, you're feeling a bit indifferent. You're just like, eh, eh I don't, I don't want to deal with this. This is, this is not what I'm looking for, but okay, we're good. Whatever. That's what I'm getting. But yeah, this person is going to want to move in is what I'm sensing to something more passionate, but they're, they're not really doing the inner work. So that's what I'm really getting for this reading for you, Scorpio. I'm sensing that this is the general energies that I'm sensing here are really going to differ from person to person. So if this story did fit, wonderful. Please let me know how it did below. I would be very interested to know about that. But if not, you know... Just take what does resonate here because I'm feeling like this. the framework here is going to fit a lot of people's lives, but the, the little details are going to be different here. So, so that's what I'm really getting for you, Scorpios. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing an extended for this reading simply because it does look like this connection is over. And you are moving on to bigger and better things. Some of you may be meeting a new person here. However, uh, because that is so general and this reading was between you and this specific person down here, doing an extended for this new person is really going to be too different um, because this is a general reading, of course. So we are going to leave it at that. I really hope that this reading was able to provide you with some helpful insight. If this reading resonated with you, please comment below and let me know how it did. I always read my comments and would love to know how this reading fits into your life. 
Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe, all that good stuff. And of course, don't forget to hit that bell button to be notified when I post new readings. Lastly, I just want to say thank you so much for all of your support. It is appreciated more than you will ever know. So whether you're new here or a returning subscriber, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. But yeah, that is all I've got for you for now. So thank you so much, everyone. I will see you next time. Bye.